Grammys, awards charting on Billboard. Does that type of stuff matter to you? You're good at this too. But I told you this back then when you used to be a no jumper. Good at this, yeah. yeah. Good. Does that stuff matter to you? <laughs> That's funny you finished my sentence. <laughs> We're twins, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's the universe, man. <laughs> yo, yo, yo. It's your boy, Hakeem, and you're watching Our Generation Music. And today, I'm with one of my favorite artists. My boy Lucky. Lucky, how we doing today? It's doing good. Doing very good? Good morning. Yeah. You said what? <laughs> 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 so, this is our second time reshooting this because the first one got a little messed up. And I'm very thankful that you decided to reshoot this, my boy. A little like the next interview and somebody else stuff messed up, they'd be like, yeah, you did it a second time for Hakeem. Like, Damn, I did put that out there. Excited boy, Hakeem. Damn. I'm sorry, man. Lucky's only <laughs> doing the interview twice for me, man. Um, so I want to talk about a bunch of things today. Um, music, just where you're at in life right now. Um, you're going crazy and shit. I love seeing your growth with every project and every release. That's why I appreciate you, because I can genuinely see you do love seeing that shit. I really appreciate that. Nah, it's, it's crazy to see it. Like It's like you're... You've always been champion, but it's more than ever now. Like, yo, Lucky going crazy. Like, I saw the greed jump. Like, you're doing like views. Like, your greed jump did a million like really hey, fast. Goes. It's the hotel. I'm sorry. No, you good? You gotta get the bro. It's the hotel. The hotel next to the restaurant. Where did go? Where did he go? Uh, tell him the veer left. The veer left. Veer left. Whatever that means. <laughs> The cool ginger guy is going to come to greet you. <laughs> <laughs> We're keeping all that in there. <laughs> um, Emphasis on the cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, here come. We're doing an interview right now. He coming. He's going to find you. All right. Okay. All, right. all your mixtapes, you know, sound different. They all have a different feel. How do you come up with the concepts for each mixtape and everything? It just be like... Life, like, mm -hmm. like when I make another project, like every time I make a project, I be saying like, you gotta keep grinding, but I always stop recording for like two months. Okay. Like no matter what, cause it'd be like, it'd just be like a subconscious thing. Like my mom be telling me like, bro, like relax, like you need stuff to rap about now. Like you feel me? Like it just be like different phases of my life. What's your favorite version of you? With all that being said, right now. Right now. Hmm? Right now? Yeah. Why is that? Because it's right now. What would, I be a, what would my favorite version of me be my past self? You never know. Some people are like that. I like right now a lot. Yeah. I saw you tweet about like the Entourage, Vinny Chase shit. I yeah. love fucking Entourage, bro. Yeah. That shit is fucking legendary, man. Yeah, that shit is hard. I was talking about that for like a week straight, though. You were. <laughs> What's the day? Johnny Drama is like one of the best supporting cast member ever for a TV show, bro. Mm. It's a month later. I'm joking. I'm joking. I'm joking. <laughs> but look, look, look. Entourage is a good show. It's just like, it's like HBO give you like in-depths of every lifestyle. Like, mm -hmm. You want to be like a, I don't know what it's like to be like a crack dealer and a mob, a lawyer. Mm-hmm. Like they got all type of shows for that shit. That shit is kind of crazy. Yeah, they produce some of the best. HBO's one. HBO is the best channel. Oh god, they produce some of the best shit. I remember being a fucking kid. HBO and FX. Yeah, FX was lit. FX had cool commercials. I always felt like, or they did it a good job. Lit. Hmm? It, it, FX still lit right now. Okay, but I haven't watched cable in a very long time. FX got Snowfall and shit. Like you feel me? Oh yeah, I haven't checked it out. You been watching everything? I used to watch it early, like, but then. I start watching it again, but I'm not doing it. Anymore. I don't. I'm not watching TV the same time as everybody else no more. Cause people like ruin it. No more, yeah, it's no more like, like that's crazy. People like that's the normal now to ruin TV shows with people and like, bleak fucking videos of the best part. Like yeah, it's crazy. online, I'm like bro, what the fuck? I wanted to watch this shit too. Yeah. That shit's fucked up, man. Well, um, I got really hip to you, Free Wave Three. Um, 
How important was that project for your career? Very and, important. And very important for my life. Mm -hmm. Literally. It was like, I, I remember writing that project. I remember like going through what I was going through. And I remember it like, I can't wait till I can just get this shit out. Because I used to be making, you know, like people say I'd be tweeting in codes. Mm -hmm. Like, now it's like some fans, they just decided to like decipher what I'm saying. If they know. Like, but I used to really like when I was making that I really wanted to just get it out because I was really like you feel me it was like I was writing my diary I'm like now they gonna finally understand what I'm talking about because like, they were really like you feel me like, mm -hmm. it was yeah. very important nah yeah I feel like for for me and then after that Lamesco was like that's why that's where we at now in 2018 Lamesco was like he was like I right, you showed them people like how to uh like. That you was hurt, like how to be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. I showed them niggas how to flex. I how to ball, that. I like that. 60s. I swear to God, we was in the city, like somewhere we always used to be. And I'll never forget where we was at when he told me that. And I was like, dang, you right. That shit is crazy. Yeah, and no, I feel like now. I feel like everything really came together at that point, just visually, just your, like your music videos and just like your sound and everything. That's one of my favorite. Um, think for you more than ever with Chase the Money, my favorite song from. That's when I first started. Like, I was so like, oh like when I released, really, it was like, yeah, that was crazy. I was so like emotional when I wrote that song. Not really? like emotional, like mm, like I was just like, that shit was crazy. I never, I'm stubborn, so I never felt what I was feeling at that time before. Oh, so it was just crazy. so. Did you let yourself go through things instead of like, <laughs> yeah. I feel that that's a hard thing to do. A lot of people kind of like block the stuff and ignore it, but that's dope. But it made very fucking amazing music. Like, shit, man. I was like, I'm gonna do like Future. Everybody said they're gonna do that, but I really did like Future. I turned up off a of heartbreak, monetized the heartbreak. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> that's hard. That's hard for sure. Um, you choose some very weird and some of the most firest beats. Like, what do you look for? It's in not a beat? on purpose. It's not? Yeah. Oh, Pluto Nash right there. That's great. He is in like, the house. We started making music together. Like, I asked him, like, that's not on purpose, though. I'm just real picky. Like, mm -hmm. people, like, that's really not on purpose. They used to offend, like, big producers who try to work with me. They used to get so offended. But it's just, I'm real picky. It's from the universe. So all the, all the music comes. I have to give my, like, it's like I'm giving myself to people, right? Mm-hmm. I really be rapping my life, like even when I don't try to, like I really be like rapping, like you feel me? Mm hmm. So that'd be like, like it gotta come out the most perfect way to me, like if I'm gonna open up to everybody else, you feel me? Yeah. Like, I never thought about that till now. Yeah. That's crazy. No, yeah. Um, I actually went back and listened to Free Wave too, and man. <laughs> He was on some fucking shit, bro. Yeah. Freeway, it's funny, Freeway too, when I was rapping, it's the end, like, because when I was first started rapping, I was rapping about selling drugs and stuff. And Freeway too. Was that like LA Lucky? Were you out here for that? No, I was at home. Oh, okay. Like, like I got like phases when I was out of town, but that's the difference between me mm -hmm. and like other people. Like, I'm so where I'm from on top of me being a weirdo. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like, none of that, like. All this shit comes from my man's ball. It comes from me. Come like when I made more than ever. I thought I'd start making music for the city, and mm -hmm. ball was like, "Bro, little bro, this shit hard, bro." But he was like, "You, I don't, he was like, I don't know what you're talking about." <laughs> so that's when I started talking about like, this shit hard, bro. Those eight oh eight, the eight oh eights in that is fucking crazy. Ch Chase's bounce is fucking ridiculous, man. Yeah, it's crazy. Um. Lone Wolf, your brother, creative partner, visually and everything. Um, how did you guys link up and what video of his made you a fan of, you know, his work? I was just thinking about some. Say it again. My, my, my. Lone Wolf, your brother, you know, your creative partner. How did you guys like link up and, you know, what video of his made you a fan of his work? Oh, Pluto found Lone Wolf. Okay. Yeah. Pluto fell in love. He had his video with Rancid. And I was out here when I saw, yeah, 
I was literally, no, they was out here when they shot the video, mm-hmm. and then I, the loan was from Indiana. It was from the, it was like when I was managing myself and shit, so I needed to find everything. Mm-hmm. That's how that happened. And then we started working. You guys, so it's like a collaborative thing. You guys are coming up with treatments and shit together because y'all videos together is fucking crazy. Yeah, it's like you just know it. I like I'm real picky. I'm the same way with videographers. The same way I'm with producers. Mm-hmm. Like, what do you like? Do you let pe- even let people get a chance to even like play you some shit, or are you just like? I mean, yeah, I'm not God. Like somebody can play me beats. Like no, like if you heard their stuff, like you heard their beats before, like you, they can't surprise you and play you some shit. Like you know what I'm saying? Like I already know what your shit sound like. <sighs> yeah, it's just a waste of time. Like, like, <laughs> like, but it's like then I know somebody. This is how I know a producer like not really like like in this shit like to. I don't know, to be better for himself. That's what we all should be trying to be better for ourselves. Mm-hmm. But like, I know for a producer not when he just focus on just giving me beats. Cause usually a producer he gonna like, all right, lucky picky. Then he gonna turn around. He gonna do some shit, nigga. Do some shit with Twenty One Savage, some crazy shit. Like, you feel me? Mm-hmm. And then I'll be like, like, I'm just I'm gonna be like, oh that shit. Cause it's not like I said you suck. They just know I'm picky. So by the like, then we come back around when I see motherfucker developing, like all type of shit turning up, like. Damn, that's how we get to where we going. Cause like, it's this thing. No matter who, I ain't gonna say it. Never mind. Cause they gonna start trying to do it. Boy. <laughs> like even back then, no matter who you work with before, mm-hmm. the, with producers, no matter who you work with before, I don't care if you work with Madonna before. Mm-hmm. Like me rapping over your beat, like it's crazy. <laughs> like like they know that. Mm-hmm. Like I swear to God. Like, I'm already known, yeah. man. No, I, I, like, nah. I know that's not like an ego thing, but it, 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 it was even like that when I didn't even value my music that much. Like, there was a point where you didn't value your music? I mean, I didn't listen to myself. I mean, I did, but I just like, you know? You I, just I used to put myself in a box because I started rapping so young and I let everybody else put me in a box. So I started mm-hmm. putting myself in a box. Oh, okay. Well... The constant thing now is everyone's saying like, yo, Lucky's the underground king and this and that. How do you feel about being championed and labeled the underground king? Like it's like it was awesome, but mm-hmm. people rap for free in the underground. <laughs> so it's <was> like <laughs> I'm kinda over that. But I really appreciate the time and mm-hmm. the time period. The time spent. <laughs> Well, all right. <laughs> this nigga fucking is funny as fuck, man. <laughs> oh, man. Um, so, Grammys, awards, charting on Billboard, does that type of stuff matter to you? You're good at this, too. But I told you this back then when you used to be a... No jumper. Good at this, yeah. yeah. Good. Does that stuff matter to you? <laughs> That's funny you finished my sentence. <laughs> We're twins, man. <laughs> <laughs> that's but, the universe, man. <laughs> but uh, that, I think that's a very important question for someone like you, because you make such abstract and dope music. Like, do you even care about a fucking Grammy or yeah, charting? I mean, yeah. It's like, this is sport. A Grammy, what is a Grammy? It's like, a, it's not like an MVP award because multiple people get one. No, it's like an MVP award. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is like one. So yeah, it's like you can win the Super Bowl and still not have an MVP award. You yeah, know what I'm saying? so it'd be nice to be a get an MVP award. So, I can see it, man. For sure. I think they also to make more categories in the Grammy. I feel like it's just like super like, huh, 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 and huh, and then it's just like that's the way it is. Like, I don't want them to change it because then if I, they change it. It wouldn't mean as much. You feel me? They gonna say they did it to do that, like okay. with the new rules. Like I feel that. Like you, bro, like we we all champions. Like we don't need that. Like mm-hmm. like you know what I'm saying? Like not nah, for real. Like I know I just it'll be cool to, but like people shouldn't be getting mad at that shit. Like like you know how they look at you where you from? Like you know what I'm saying? Like fuck that shit. Like yeah, fuck that shit. I'm a hometown hero at this point. Like yeah. Everybody though, yeah, not for real. Um, but your project did chart on the Billboard, which was dope seeing. Yeah, it was hard. My next one about to for sure. Days before two did chart. That was crazy. But yeah, it's because I got some crazy strong fans. Man, you, I saw you perform. How was that? How was Miami? How was that performance? 
crazy. How did it feel being back out after fucking a year or something? Did you mess up at all or you just... Nah, I got <laughs> this shit. It's crazy. I used to be so shy with performing. Really? I heard it when I was performing, right? I swear to God. I swear to God, I heard it. Like, when I was performing, somebody was like, in the crowd, they was like, he was not like this last time. <laughs> he I piping up. God. But like, your man said, it's time for you to ball. God. Yeah, that shit funny. I heard somebody in the crowd say that. I was like, but I was like, <laughs> I didn't break character. I just kept doing it. You know? yeah, it was crazy. Now you're evolving, bro. I can see it, man. It's, it's the evolution. It's the evolution to Lucky, man. It's God. No okay. care. That's the reason I'm evolving. I appreciate that. That's dope, man. Um, that video, bro, people misinterpreting with the lean had me dying. Oh. A fan trying to give you lean to take a picture. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. You know that. Yeah, everybody was like, he should have beat him up because he was trying to sell it to him. He was really just trying to give it to me to take a picture. Like, we was on the... Crazy. Yeah. I didn't see that when you showed me that. Oh, the dice. Um, how did you and uh, you know, you and Filthy working right now together? The wake up filthy, wake up uh, lucky. Mm -hmm. How did you guys meet and everything? What is you know what does Filthy bring out of you as an artist? He made like, feel like working with Filthy like working with like like. First, he take this shit so serious, mm -hmm. and you gotta take it serious with him. You feel me? Yeah. And then the way I rap, like filthy, like it'll be days we won't make a song because I gotta write, and I'd be like, my bad, bro. He'd be like, bro, stop saying that. Like, mm -hmm. be like you know how I know how it is, because I just I'd be just thinking like he's so used to working because nobody else really write, so I'd be just thinking he's so used to like working with people like they play a beat, and they just you feel me? Like just go. So I'd be thinking like my process be getting annoying. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I like working with filthy a lot. You guys finished the project already? Not yet. Mm -hmm. It's like ninety three point five percent finished. What do you, what in like? What I only said point five because he put that on social media. Oh okay. Ninety three point five. Damn. That's crazy. Any features? Did you decide to put anybody on it or no? You're gonna have to see. You're gonna have to see. <laughs> um, five years from now, where does Lucky see himself? I'm gonna be 30, 29 going on 30. <laughs> I gotta be like, like, be 30. I'm gonna be lit though. I'm gonna just be 30. Just lit in 30? Like, not lit though. It's gonna be like, like when I'm 30, like, it's gonna be like, everyone's gonna be like, what happened to Lucky? Not in like that type of way. Like, like not in a fell off type of way. Just like, I'm gonna just be. That's when I'm gonna start working on documentaries and shit. Like I'm not trying to be a rapper when I'm thirty. Mm. So like, what kind of documentaries would you do? Cause I fucking love documentaries. I don't even want to get this all set. All right. I'm, I'm not joking though. I'm serious. I'm, no, like, I hear you. The five years is so from crazy. Now? Like the, the five years from now, the shit's gonna come out now. But that's it. Yeah. It's crazy. Damn. Oh yeah. Um. The last. Like, I'm gonna make a. Uh, only reason I'm, I'm about to tell you why I'm saying that. I'm gonna make a documentary about the SoundCloud era and everybody tried to, but I was really like a part, like, even if somebody tried to steal it, like, you're not gonna be able to do it. I, I mean, I mean, you were a part of it, so it's a little like, different. Like, literally, that shit's gonna be crazy. Like, people just be talking about one part of it. Like, when people, when people talk about the SoundCloud rap, they only be really like, now when it went mainstream, they were talking about like the Miami type of shit. Like, it's just X and Ski. Yeah, There's a whole I mean? like, different sections yeah. of it. Yeah, I'm gonna get into that. Chicago, there's Xavier. Yeah, well, that shit wasn't Memphis. really in Chicago like that. No, I'm that's saying. why. That's why the Chicago, the few Chicago rappers that was like doing the SoundCloud rap, that's why we was going out of town. Chicago was just bang bang. Like you feel me? Mm -hmm. Like that shit wasn't really in Chicago like that. Yeah, no, there's like Xavier and them. They were in Memphis um, while they came out here. Bones. You see what I'm saying? Like Memphis is a city. Memphis wasn't on SoundCloud. Sorry. Right? They was on bang bang. So that's why Xavier Wolf then went to, came to LA. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Like, Turned up. People from cities like where we from, like they weren't doing that type of shit. That's why we had come out here. Some people would lose themselves. You feel me? Just not a lot of yeah. Only the strong survive in these LA waters. Lucky is inspiring to a lot of people. But I want to know who inspires Lucky. What artists or who are you listening to? What did you look up to growing up? Okay, that's like five different questions. 
the artists I listen to, like, I listen to Detroit, but I listen to, like, the White House, like, mm -hmm. like I'll never forget I was out here. It's when I first started getting money, getting money. My homie played Babyface Red, start this over. When he was in the G-Wagon, he was like, I don't know. <laughs> I don't treat nobody different, but you got to keep rolling niggas around. He was like, like, I was hooked since then. Mm -hmm. Like, I'm really my people's. That's really all I listen to. Future. Mm. Future and Uzi, they crazy together. Yeah, that album was yeah. really dope. I've been off Thug a lot. Thug go crazy. He always went crazy, but now, like... I think he's in his bag, like, yeah, right now. He, like, ever since he sold that 100K, he like, oh, I know what people like, for real, for real. Like, so he be going crazy, crazy. man. I just literally just had an interview with Turbo, Earl, Turbo earlier, one of the producers, and I said this... I, we were talking about the same thing. Like, I think we're now going to see the best music from Thug. Like, mm -hmm. like he just released... The, like, artists, when they release compilation albums, bro, that shit be bullshit. It be, like, one good song. Like, mm -hmm. Like that shit is kind of hard. Like, Niggas that shit is crazy. Banging that left, <laughs> back, forward, side, side. Like I don't know them, but the way they seem like they live though. Mm -hmm. Like I remember, like, hey, put Remember we used to be trying, like, when it was time for us to take rap, and we was like, bro, we can't start taking this shit serious. Like the Atlanta niggas. Like remember we used to like mm -hmm. they just live in the studio. Like you feel me? Like, like that shit. Like the way they live, like it's revolved around what they do. Like, yeah, that shit is hard. Like and they're tight. Yeah. Like this shit like a jumper, no matter what you're gonna get hard at that shit. Like if you just revolve your life around what you do. Like, mm -hmm. It's true, it's honest to, to everything and everything that they do. Uh they're true artists to me. That's you're a true artist. You yeah. remind me. If you wasn't rapping, you wouldn't be like this is all you do in life. Thug like, them like the funkadelics now. Like that's why I said like the funkadelics. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I swear to God. That's a good comparison right there. For real. That's a really good comparison right there. Never really thought about that. I know you like Lil Wayne. I know you're a big Wayne fan. I know Wayne. He's not even going to see this interview. He don't even know who young rappers are. But I don't, like, I'm like everybody else. Like, Lil Wayne is Michael Jordan to me. Okay. You feel me? Like, Michael Jordan. But, I, yeah, you know what I'm talking about. If, is there I grew a up off Lil Wayne. Mm-hmm. I grew up off Lil Wayne. Yeah, no. Um, that was, like, the first... American rapper that I was like, nigga, he made me want to get like fucking Dre's and shit. Like, <laughs> bro, everybody wanted to be like that nigga. It's just fucking crazy. Carter Three was amazing, but I loved Carter Two. Chief Keef is another inspiring artist. Chief Keef changed it all. The fact that Chief Keef, like Chief Keef, could have went mainstream with the music he was making, like the Young Chop shit, mm -hmm. like, but then he started making like Almighty Soul. Like that's how you know Chief Keef, like a true artist at heart. Like, mm -hmm. He just went off and started and just made up. Like, if it was one for the Almighty Soul, like, like these are like a lot of like the new artists, like, mm -hmm. like they so talented, they was gonna become what they became eventually. But like, that format of music, that formula of music he gave people, that shit was kind of crazy. No, yeah, I just saw a poll. Was 17 years old, lock yourself in a room by yourself with a pint. That shit was crazy. <laughs> That's not the formula, but that shit was just crazy. Like, bro, this nigga is a kid. Like, you feel going me? crazy. When I first dropped out, wake up in the morning, smoke in my room, listen to Almighty So like that shit's crazy. Yeah, well, at the time was it like he blew up and then you blew up a little bit after that in Chicago? Yeah, in Chicago. Yeah. A year after, two years after. He like it was a type of thing. I'm not trying to just give him credit, but it was like a he opened the door type thing. Like mm -hmm. he made Chicago kids, like inspired Chicago kids. Yeah, no, I just saw this crazy poll, like he had like in the last ten years, like they said, um, like, who had the best breakout single? It was, like, Chief Keep. Yeah, I saw that. It was Double XL. Yeah. It's easily Chief Keep. No one else is. Yeah, for sure. The second was Juice. Yes. I would go Juice after that. And third, Money Longer. Over Pop Smoke? Book RP Pop Smoke, but hell yeah. Over Welcome to Lil the Uzi. Park. That was a real moment. You're crazy oh, yeah, that was, Okay. All right, all right. All right. RP Pop Smoke, though, for real. Like, no, and Welcome to the Party after that. Like, but you're crazy. That was a real moment. But Welcome to the Party was crazy because it was like, because it was just 6 9 I don't even really want to say that. It was just, they just went, New York had just went through that. that you feel me? The whole shit with him, yeah. New York had just went through that. And I lived in New York when, when before all that shit, like mm -hmm. when he was like, when Kuda, all them songs came out, New York was jacking that shit. Like, but like, like, like that shit was, like, New York was jacking that shit. So they mm -hmm. really, like, they went through something because they went through a real drought. Like, you feel me? Like, they got Bobby, they got Hopeful, then he went to jail. And then, like, 
You feel me? Like being A Boogie came out, but A Boogie not traditional New York music. You yeah. feel me? So like it was hard for like New York. So yeah, I, I feel the pop smoke thing. But Uzi was crazy. Like it was crazy. Uzi made SoundCloud mainstream, like little Uzi. Like he made SoundCloud mainstream. Yeah. Like Uzi was so people forgot Lil Uzi was a SoundCloud rapper. He he for sure as being alive, he's one of the per- the person that took it the furthest, I think. Oh, him and Post. Post was a SoundCloud rapper too. No. I remember when Post long you wanna know something? That was before that whole SoundCloud rap era. I remember the first Rolling Loud. Mm. And I performed at like four thirty and then I just stayed on the stage. That's how it was. Like like it's from like the two nine era. Like before SoundCloud rap. Legend, shout like out a, Curtis in there. It wasn't even a like that was like 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 post cloud rap era. Like mm-hmm. but it wasn't called cloud for SoundCloud. Like and then I remember Key brought Post Malone on the stage during his set. Yeah. Yeah, Post Malone blew up before SoundCloud. Like oh. literally like bef- before the SoundCloud era. Like Okay. Yeah. Well, music and platforms, things being played. OVO Sound is always playing Lucky. They just dropped two new songs on your shit. Man, how did you link up with uh, Oliver and all those guys? I don't know. I'm just like a... <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't know. Like, I don't know them. I just think, like... I'm just, like, Drake, one of my favorite rappers. Like, Oliver, like, we've been supporting me for, like, two years. Mm-hmm. Like, that's just, like, real, like... Like that shit just fit, like yeah. you know what I'm saying. Like he can hear, they can hear my shit and hear like where the inspiration come from. So I feel like that's just showing love. You feel me? Mm. I feel that. Can you ever see you and Drake working together? Can you hear y'all on a song? Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that's crazy. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm just, I'm just putting it out in the universe. <laughs> oh, yeah. Um. What motivates you? What motivates Lucky every day? Uh, taking care of my peoples. Your son? How? My peoples. My son photo. He for? With Lex. He ain't fathers though. So we don't do that. I feel that. I respect that. 100%. He too pure for all that, you know? Mm-hmm. I feel that. Um, Juice World, another pure perk. That's crazy. That's the universe. That's crazy. That's crazy. I was just thinking about him when I said the word pure. Yeah, <laughs> bro. He was like, he was just reminding me just like a kid. Like he was just so. Yeah, I don't want to get into that. I love people. They already know that Pluto and Bat type shit. Yeah. 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 I wish I, I wish you guys got to work on some music and everything, man. That would have been crazy. Yeah, but. I can't lie to you. The moments we had, we supposed to record music and we just had too much fun. Like, I really rather, like... You appreciate that more? Hell yeah, than a fucking song. Like, I don't care if that song would've went number one. Like, I don't care. I appreciate that shit way more. No, I feel that. I feel that. Well, we usually do this to close it out and everything. What's your uh, message for our generation? I'm like, for y'all? I'm like, <laughs> People always <laughs> do this. <laughs> I swear to God. But look, just uh, love. Look, take care of your people. Love yourself. Really love yourself. For real. Love the fuck out of yourself. Like, I know people be like, Lucky's an asshole. You guys are flawless and all. But it's like, just come from a low point in my life. And I realize, like, like yo, yo, you, can, you are flawless. Like, everybody's gonna, like, just love yourself. Mm-hmm. Take care of people and be yourself so you can love yourself even more. 